Hello, so today we will make a video on the topic of uh, being a mature person. And um, before I start, I'd like you uh, to subscribe to the channel or to like the video or to share or to leave a comment uh, in order to make this channel grow and so that I am able to add more value to this uh, channel. Thank you. So this is uh, the second part of the topic of maturity and link with the big five <coughs> domain. And I would suggest 12 qualities of personality which uh, correspond to being a mature person. So these qualities are related uh, mainly to three domains of the big five which are agreeability, emotional stability or neuroticism, and conscientiousness. So first, qualities linked to neuroticism. First, there is the management of anger, self-control. It means not um, getting angry easily, not getting irritated easily, keeping one's cool, and don't complain. Second is temperance or moderation, and it is linked with the facet called immoderation. For example, the ability to control what one eats, uh, the ability to know why one does things, the ability to avoid things one might later regret, the ability to resist temptations, and, for example, the ability not to spend more than one can afford. So this was um, moderation. Third quality, the contrary of vulnerability. So it will the, be the ability to remain calm. So not to panic easily, not to be overwhelmed by events, fear that one is able to deal with things, and the ability to not get overwhelmed by emotions and to resist pressure. Now we move to the facets of agreeableness. In link with the facet of morality, I would suggest the quality of morality. For example, not cheating on one's taxes, not using flattery to get ahead, not using others to one's own ends, not taking advantage of others. Then come the quality of cooperation. Avoid confrontations. Don't yell at people. Don't insult people. Don't hold a grudge. Then comes the quality of modesty. Don't consider yourself a special person. Don't believe that you are better than others. Don't think highly of yourself. Don't make yourself the center of attention. Then comes the quality of sympathy. Feel sympathy for those who are worse than yourself. Try to value cooperation at least as much as competition. Try to be interested in others' problems. And <clears throat> don't believe in revenge. Then come the qualities <clears throat> of conscientiousness and especially industriousness. <clears throat> the ability to complete tasks successfully. It is in the facet of self-efficacy. Self-efficacy, completing tasks successfully, handling tasks smoothly, not misjudging situation, and uh, anticipating the consequences of things. I would say this is one big important aspect of um, maturity. Another being the ability to delay gratification. Then comes dutifulness, keeping one's promises, paying bills on time, telling the truth, listening to one's conscience, 
This one also is a big one. Achievement striving, working hard, turning plans into actions, setting high standards for oneself and others. Self-discipline, getting chored away, carrying out one's plans, getting down to work easily and not wasting one's time. And then comes um, cautiousness, which is also an important um, quality of uh, maturity, avoiding mistakes, uh, don't make rash decisions, don't do crazy things, and act. Be, uh, think before you act. So to sum up, there is um, low neuroticism and especially low volatility, not uh, being um, irritated easily, not getting upset easily, and not panicking, resisting temptations. Then there is a conscientiousness and especially, and especially industriousness with cautiousness, with self-discipline, etc. And there is um, agreeability with two aspects to it, politeness, respecting others, and compassion, being interested in others and their problems. So these were uh, 12 qualities of a mature personality. Please leave a comment and I will answer quickly.